What's up everybody, it's your boy Gut Work. Some of you may know me, some of you may never heard of me before. Um, but what it is, I'm an artist. I disappeared about four years ago or so. I had a personal issue. Um, and this is not the way I wanted to break my silence. But um, it is what it is. Uh, I was inspired to do this video, so I'm doing it. Um, and my other stuff, I'll go into that in another video. So <clears throat> this video here is... The bombing, the bombings that happened in England, Manchester, and London, and these kids that died, right? Now, what's happening is, you know, maybe because I'm, I'm born in England, raised in the States, and, you know, Indian. I'm born into a Sikh family. So this is like an outside perspective. Hopefully, when I share my perspective, I could hopefully change some other people's perspectives. Um, what it is, is there's people like Tommy Robinson that you know have this whole movement going and then but all it's doing is it's just creating more hate there's a white guy with a grenade said i'm going to go into mosques and blow it up and there's muslim guys retaliating it's just making the whole situation worse people like tommy you know i applaud him man he's got he's putting himself and his family at risk for what he thinks is the greater cause for the country um the thing is, is I, I think the problem is is his verbiage the words he's using, he's saying basically Muslims. Muslims are the problem and they're the ones that are doing this. And I think if he was to say the extremist, right, and not just Muslims in general, you would have a to way less retaliation because I'm sure he's seen there's a lot of Muslims that are uh, opposing these, these extremists. On the street saying, oh, we don't want them here. Get them out of here. Nobody is happy with the bombers. Nobody's happy about these killings, man. So, you know, if we, if you can share this video and get it even to that Tommy or his people, say, look, man, if you just change it to the fact that, listen, we're not targeting Muslims, we're targeting the extremist, then you would have a lot more support from the Muslim co community. And, um... And I think this journey will be a lot better, a lot easier. Um, I'm sure that, no, you know, the analogy, basically the analogy is say KKK members went and blew up a church or whatever. And everybody started saying, let's, you know, kill the, the, the white people, the honkies, and let's blow up churches. No, naturally we would get retaliation from white people, right? So it's not, it's that niche. Let's focus on the niche. And I'm telling you, bro. It will be a lot smoother ride and we'll, you'll reach your objective, you know. And we need those people uh, on our side to get the objective done. Because what happens is then what they're doing is they hear these anti-Muslim stuff and then they retaliate to that. So it sounds like they're supporting those acts, but they're really not. You know, nobody is supporting that apart from this little niche of people. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Uh, I think I heard like a cousin write something today. I'm not afraid of this. It's like, no, man, our approach is 2017. We're way too wiser, way too smarter. Um, you know, let's just sit together. So I want to sign off by saying, Ikum God, which is one God that's in everything because at the end of the day, we're all one. Peace.